Hello, today I want to talk about the GameCube. So, we're just going to talk about the GameCube right here. I only have the silver GameCube right now, I will get the other colors. But yeah, this is the GameCube if you've never seen it. It's a wonderful console. Yes, this is a console. It's not a toy, it is a console. See, control it. Ports right here, fan things, and yes, you do open it like this. It's an amazing console. This released in 2002. Um, it's a great console. I, I love it. It has a bunch of panels here in the back you can take off for the uh, Game Boy Player, and also a couple other adapters and um, other stuff. Uh, I don't have a WaveBird or a WaveBird adapter, but this was one of the first wire, um, truly wireless controllers that didn't use, like, that didn't force you to keep your controller straight as well. This also has the best controller known to the gaming community ever created. But also, uh, I don't think you think a normal disc can fit in here, and that's right, because, well, this was not made for normal discs. It was made for little tiny discs, because if you try to put like a, a, this is a normal size disc, this is a PS3 disc, if you try to sit it in here, it doesn't really, it doesn't really, uh, well, it doesn't really work. So, the GameCube, well, Nintendo is, well, back then they were a little more extreme with prior piracy but they still are extreme they had mini discs now this existed before but these are unique mini discs because they're directly branded by nintendo they were not like manufactured by other companies these were these were actually invented by nintendo they're slightly different than the other mini discs but this sits perfectly fine unlike the big chunky disc that existed and if you want to see how tiny it really is. That's it next to a normal disc. It's half the size of what it really is. But yeah, this is a great console. Um, the control, the little plastic parts. Here is the case to the to the console. Now this has two types of boxes. This has the normal version. You know, every console, almost every console has a normal box, and then it also has a re-release box. And it's one of the worst. It is the player's choice. It puts this really ugly yellow line at the top, shrinking the box art. And it makes this an ugly yellow and black instead of a beautiful black and white and purple. Which, I mean, if it didn't have this... This special design, if it was a different type of box style, it would have looked nice, but the way it, like, works with this, and also, they didn't change this to yellow, if they changed this to yellow, and, like, maybe made this thing a little, like, I don't know, different color, it would have probably worked, but they kept everything the same except for putting this here and this here. Now, the discs are completely the same, of course, nothing's different with the discs, um, neither with the manuals, they're all the same, just the box art's been shrunk and there's these ugly yellow parts on it. Um, but yeah, this, that's the GameCube's case, and then we just need to get on to the memory cards. I only have this type, this is a 512 megabyte memory card. There's bigger, there's, uh, smaller ones, and they all go into these ports. Um, and yeah, they work really well. Um, really nice. They are very similar to the PS2 and Xbox memory cards, only they are different because they're for a different console with a different brand. But yeah, these are nice. There's a bunch of different variants. There's Mario variants, Mine uh, not Minecraft. Minecraft didn't release until 2010. Sorry, 2011. This was 2002 all the way to, um, 2010, I think the GameCube stopped, like, providing games. And Nintendo shut it down. But yeah, um, this is the memory card. And then, I saved the best thing for last. The controller. Look at this hunk. This is 
wonderful. It's not really a hunk, but it's beautiful. The C-stick is a little too small on the D-pad, though, but, I mean, who cares? This thing fits wonderfully. Like, look at this. You almost, like, start salivating. Like, a gamer starts salivating when they see this, how perfect this... Okay, that that's a weird, like, saying, but it, this just fits so well in your hands. And the shoulder buttons are amazing. And they're pressurized. And yeah, it's just a really great console. If you don't have a GameCube, you love retro games, you love Nintendo, and you also love Sonic games, because this thing has a lot of Sonic games on it. Um, it's one of the consoles that has some of the most on it, besides for Xbox Series X and... Yeah, and iOS and PC. This has a lot of Sonic games on it, retro Sonic games, of course. And it's... It's easy to, um, mod and also emulate, um, than other consoles, but yeah, it's a great console, I highly recommend it. If you don't have a GameCube, you should get it. Um, yeah, that's my review on the GameCube. This was, some of this stuff was kind of taking opinions from other people, but most of this was my own opinions, but yeah. Um, still, you should, if you ever seen one at a retro game store, at a good price, pick it up. Um, now, if your TV doesn't have a comp adapter, you'll need a comp adapter, because this uses comp, not HDMI, because it was 2002, but yeah. This works great on modern TVs, retro TVs, or just midline TVs that are in between modern and retro. It's really good. Um, yeah, check out the GameCube if you haven't. It's great.